<laughs> it's your feel good break for show Expresso on S3 and we are talking all things dating because since the movie The Tinder Swindler was released we've been you know alerted to the fact that dating online isn't only potentially awkward but it could actually be very unsafe. Now Grant's here to help us be more safe if we are venturing into the world of online dating. I feel like now's the time to probably say I did reactivate my online profile got yes. overwhelmed and then shut it down. You're telling the whole country this. What do you <laughs> oh, think? It, just, I, it was on for like the weekend and then it got shut down. Did okay. people think that it was a catfish? I'm sure people were like... There was one the person that Brown. asked for a voice note to prove <laughs> it's me. <laughs> also, I could also like get you onto radio. Wait, okay. Away from you, I feel like that's a whole different uh, topic. Tinder, Swinder, oh my gosh. No spoilers, please. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so I'll, I'll, avoid, I'll avoid spoilers, but I think now that it's coming up to Valentine's Day, more people are going to be on these dating apps. I mean, you opened yours, closed it over the weekend. Um, and also, that means that people that are trying to take advantage of people that are in a position of being vulnerable and wanting to open up for love is, is high and rife. And the Tinder Swindler, obviously, is the biggest, like, most extreme version of it. Um, and I'd like to, like, state flat out that I don't blame the women that are inside that show. I think there are a lot of people on Twitter doing that. It's really unfortunate. There are people that are extremely manipulative. Mm. And when you watch the show, you'll start to understand. And you're not in that person's shoes. And being manipulated can happen to you very, very easily. Mm. So there are a couple of things that you should be uh, on the lookout before you get manipulated and before you think that you're smarter than all these women that are on the show. The first one is if you, you know, connect on, on an app and you go out for a date, meet in a public place place. It's extremely important. Yeah, do you have a story? So, so I have a question. So how soon after you've connected should you meet? Because I have this theory like meet them as soon as possible so that it doesn't turn into like a WhatsApp or a chit chat relationship. Awkward. But how soon is maybe too soon? Because it could also be awkward if like what happened to me is they're like, hey, and then it's within minutes. Like, Let's meet on Wednesday. Mm. And I'm not ready for that. No. Only meet when you're ready. Don't feel bullied to do anything that you're not comfortable with, including if it's meeting up for the first time or giving large sums of money. Anything that you feel uncomfortable with, make sure that you put a stop in it. And then uh, also have an exit strategy. So if you do start having a date at whatever, whatever stage, make sure that it's a short date, that it's in a public area, and that, like I said in the initially, and that you can leave very quickly. So with Amble and I, I made sure that we met at just after lunch, or j just before lunch for a coffee, so that she has an exit, so if she's not comfortable, or I'm not comfortable for that first date, that she can go like, hey, I've got to go somewhere for lunch, or like, it's, it's just, a, it's, it's out in public, it's fine, you know, yeah. like, you can leave, and it's, it's less awkward that way. Yeah. Um, so have an exit strategy to make yourself, put any stops in to make yourself feel comfortable in that scenario. I'm smiling, because I'm just p picturing Papa Grant Hines for when Jamie is one day at that dating stage, you're like, make sure it's a public place. Don't make sure <laughs> no, but I, I, that was something when I was dating online, I made sure that every, it's my job as, as the man in the situation to make somebody feel as comfortable as possible. So no hikes, just the two of us alone in the middle of the mountains, none of those things. And make, make sure that, uh, that, it's, that, that, the, that the environment for them is easy to, it, and it's good for you because you want to make whoever you're dating the most comfortable that they can mm -hmm. and also give them the out because it might be awkward for you too and go like, hey, it's so cool, I've got to go do laundry. <laughs> yeah, but I'll that was the thing last year, that was the thing last year, everybody went on hikes for the first time, everyone was trying to do like social events for yeah. the first time, meeting the people, but be comfortable because there's nothing worse than both of you being uncomfortable. It is the first date, you want to make it as natural as possible and see the person in their natural habitat. Habitat. The worst thing people do is like go on these pretentious dates. Like, and I remember Tabisa said, mentioned this last year. You're like, <laughs> let's go to a five star restaurant. You don't even like five star food. Why are you there? So now you're like, I'm gonna have the Aaron Chitran. Ch <laughs> you can't even <laughs> like, like, no. like, give, give me some high schools or something. Like, like, let's do something real. Yeah, I do something pretty like chilled and inexpensive, like a cup of coffee. That's like, <laughs> the, that's would be, be my first port of call. But then, second or following that, make sure that you let at least two people know where you are. 
so that you don't go on a date in private. And even if it's just, you can, ideally you'd want to share your location with those yeah. people, but uh, just let them know that you are seeing somebody. Often, and I think this is really good practice, women will then share a profile with their friends. So they meet somebody, go like, hey, I'm going on a date with this guy, what do you think? You know, and then they can like, like chit chat about the guy, whatever, that's fine. But it also gives the per their friend uh, like a barometer, like who is this person, who are they dating? If something goes wrong, they know who to, to contact. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I actually did this last year. I sent my, my best friend, I was like, oh my <laughs> word, I'm going on a date, this is this guy, and yeah. I gave him his name. She actually Googled him and found out he was actually a soccer player and was like from Germany or something. And she was like, Jamie, do you know you're going on a date? I'm like, yeah, his name is da 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 da. And she's like, no, he's, anyway. <laughs> Again, another topic for another day. <laughs> oh, you know, all these celebrities, dating celebrities. Um, very cool. That's um, a scary world. And then a good, tip for uh, as the relationship progresses and just in general, make sure that nobody makes you keep a secret that you are not comfortable sharing with somebody else. I think relationship secrets can be dangerous because you are an individual in a relationship mm -hmm. and you, should, you shouldn't have to hold somebody's you know, uh, baggage for, for them. You should be able to like offload to your friends. And if there's anything that they want you to keep a secret and you'll see it in Tinder Swindle, he does this a lot, it's a, it's a method of control. Okay. So you make sure that you, you give somebody something that you think is important and secretive that they can't tell anybody else or that they, you demand that they don't tell anybody else and now you're like beholden to this person because you've got like some information, like, like really important information. Flag. Huge red flag. And it's something that we think or we're taught is normal, oh like there's secrets in relationships, but it's also very dangerous because you should as a partner, let your partner have the freedom to express any kind of secrets that they feel comfortable with, with people that they feel comfortable with. Be like, like family members, you know, anybody that says like, you can't see your mom. Yeah, or you can't red like, flags. You know, huge red flags. Yeah. Grant, we can talk about this all day. I feel like all they day. should have a whole show just on our <laughs> dating experiences with Grant's expertise <laughs> on using apps. But do stay tuned with us as we've got more tech talk coming up, especially heading to Valentine's Day and you're perhaps looking at ways to put yourself out there safely.